The good old man Al Bundy. All right. So Al, Al Bundy, Bundy also? Not Al yes, Bundy. sir. Ed O'Neill. I'm sorry. That's the actual guy's name. Al Bundy is the name of that character. Al Bundy. Oh, Ed wow. O'Neill. Ed O'Neill. Yeah. yeah. That's and a dog I remember from Not on this particular episode. I like Ed O'Neill. Yeah. Bro, yeah. Granny, you probably Ed know this show. Ed O'Neill is on a show. Oh, uh, Modern Family. Modern Family, yeah. And you know, I, his wife in, in, in that last one on uh, Married with Children was stupid bad. Yeah. yeah. And now he married with it's, Sophia Bargero on Modern Family. Bro. Boy, he is. He is. He is a TV dad guy. Goat. Yeah. Ain't no TV dad got a final wife to him. I got so look, we had this argument. So uh, we did the Al Bundy. He hit for 88k in two days. Dang. Now he said that Al Bundy was funnier than Michael Scott. What you is to I, me? I, I agree with that after watching that. I was hey. Tough debate. Bro, the laughs that we were at, having on at that. one minute, I was alright, that's a little bold. But after the whole thing, after watching the whole thing, it's, yeah, it is it's a bit of an argument. That's two different styles it's of humor. It's yeah, that's not saying that. And humor. the people out there said he has more than just fat jokes. No, I say he's more witty. Yeah, my, my Michael Scott, Scott is, is like awkward. Michael Scott is yeah, he's awkward. Michael yeah. like dumber. Like his, yeah, his stupidity dumber. is so funny. Yeah. yeah. The way he looks. But he's definitely more witty. Bo yeah, already. yeah, Michael, yeah, Al Bundy definitely like funnier, like his yeah. jokes and all that. Boy, you look like a, yeah. yeah. Boy, you look like somebody Bundy. said Al Bundy's taking a good old ass wiping on Michael Scott face. Mm. Damn, his face. How vivid. All right, so we got Jamie Foxx on here. Oh, somebody oh, named uh, Wayne uh, Brothers. Yeah, he said uh, Ed O'Neill on here. I was like, this is a black people. Y'all know, so y'all know who's talking about this. Biz Marquis, I think, on here too. Y'all know Biz Marquis. Y'all know Biz Marquis. I never seen Living Color. Oh, Living Color. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've never seen Living Color. Yeah, I've never seen it. I've never seen it, but I've heard of it. Well, we reacted to it a couple times. Remember the gay soldiers? Remember that? Damn, bro. Damn, bro. Hey, y'all, crucify him. You got a little peanut. Oh, yeah. You were talking about what you do that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim Carrey on it too. Bro. I don't know that's what it's called. called. Jim Carrey, the Karate. Yeah, I remember those, but I didn't know that's what that was called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, you don't know what it's called. <laughs> I'm bad with remembering names, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you don't know what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bad with remembering names, James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you don't know what it's called. <laughs> 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 is the Dirty Dozens Tournament of Champions. The Dirty Dozens. Studio, a five-time champion from Uptown New York. I bet a nigga come out first. Another five-time champion from Houston. Another nigga come out. Go ahead. Dirty Dozens Tournament champion. But that's what I'm talking about. Damian Foosball. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, shoot. Where the right time? Where the right time? Where the right time? Where the right time? Last year's Dirty Dozens Tournament Champion from Compton, California, Damian Foosball. <laughs> <laughs> and now the host of Dirty Dozens, Stu Benzie. Welcome to the Dirty Dozens Tournament of Champions. What's up, Stu? T Dog in the house. How are you, my friend? I just seen you last week, man. We see you here every week. How's your mom? She doing fine. How's the colitis? He all right. All righty. <laughs> we are present at the Dirty Dozens game board. We're talking trash can get you cash. And you might be the champ if your mama's a tramp. Dang it. Yo. Let's look at our categories. Because your mama's so bald. Your mama's so fat. Your mama's so stupid. And American authors. <laughs> toss, for I think I'm going to take your mama's so stupid for 100. <laughs> Let's have a look. Your mama's so stupid... Uh, Anthony. Yeah, yeah uh, your mom is so stupid she tripped over a cordless phone. <laughs> <laughs> and you're on the board. Pick again. How about mama so fat for a hundred, Stu? Classic category. Your mama's so fat. T Dog. Your mama's so fat she look like she's smuggling Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Mama's a big old greasy hoe. <laughs> Name the best America author you know. Mark Twain. Yeah. That's old though. Okay, that's that count. Oh yeah, I guess. What's what? J.K. Uh, who the one? Rolling? J.K. Yeah, Rollins. Yeah. I was about to say okay, Rollins. Okay. Oh, okay. R.L. Stein. R.L. Stein. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good one. Goosebumps. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Dr. Seuss. Yeah. Dr. Seuss. Yeah. 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 I was really thinking about Dr. Seuss. Dr. Dr. Seuss. Um, who won the Hunger Games? Oh, oh come on, man. <laughs> I'm the Hunger Games. Back in 
Game of Five. Who goated. made the Great Gatsby again? What's his name? Alrighty, fellas. Let's get, let's get it. The game is back in session. What? <laughs> Mama's a big old greasy hoe. <laughs> Alrighty, T Dog, need a category. I think I will go with American authors for 100 students. <laughs> New category. Oh, oh, oh. Born in 1804, Nathaniel Hawthorne wrote such classic fiction as The Scarlet Letter and The House of the Seven Gables. For $100, how stank was his mama? Foosball. Nathaniel Hawthorne's mother was so stank, she sweated black flag. <laughs> I'll whiskey. leave it at a C spot. Foosball, pick a square. I'll take your mother so fat for 200 still. <laughs> your mama's so fat. Your, ma your mama's so fat, she wakes up in sections. Damn. <laughs> the underground don't stop for hoes. <laughs> hey. Let's go with your mama so bald then. For 200, your mama's so bald. Foosball. Your mother's so bald, she blowed your hair like that. <laughs> <laughs> Category. Uh, I'll take American authors for 200 still. Alrighty, listen carefully, Foosball. 200 still. Author and humorist Samuel Clemens wrote the classic Tom Sawyer under his better known pseudonym. What was that pseudonym? And how big was his mama's butt? <laughs> yeah, Mark Twain and his mama's butt was so big, if you put your ear up to it, you can hear the ocean. <laughs> control of the board. I'll take Mama so fat for 300 stew. T Dog, break him off something. <laughs> you too much. Hey. <laughs> Your Mama so fat, she got stretch marks on her clothes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, and that's the end of the first round. Let's reveal the final squares of tonight's mystery disc. Gentlemen, peep this. Foosball. Your mother's so fat, the back of her neck looks like a pack of hot dogs. <laughs> Foosball, you and T Dog are tied. Anthony will say goodbye. It's time for your mama's real or sudden death. Yeah, it is. I'm keeping it in it. It's time for your mama's wheel of sudden death. You know the rules. I spin the wheel. Whatever body part it lands on, that's where you have to direct your disc. T Dog. Teeth. Your mama's so toothless, it takes an hour to eat minute rice. <laughs> Foosball, your turn. Eyes. Your mama's so blind, she got eyes on her butt and still can't see squat. <laughs> I'm sorry, Foosball. You use the word eyes, but technically that's a butt diss. And that makes T Dog our winner. <laughs> T-Dog, you've certainly come a long way. Now you can stop here and take home your winnings or face the final test and become a true Dirty Dozen's Grandmaster. Are you willing to risk it all, double or nothing, ooh, 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 and go ooh, for ooh. greatness? You don't risk it all. <laughs> He'll go for it! That means you'll be facing off with the all-time Dirty Dozens Hall of Fame champion, Ed O'Neill! Who is this loser? Oh, are you trying to step to me, huh? Hey, I have a girl who does that for me. Yeah, come on, Christy, love us a hoe. Hey, back up here, Metro T. Don't chill. You and I, T. Y. Oh. She's a rough chick. Now you'll have to settle your differences on the field of dozens. T. Dog, you've got 60 seconds to diss our champion's mama so badly he gets his butt out of the Royal Barcalonger chair. This is for the championship. 60 seconds on the clock. Ready? Begin. Your mama so fat, she got a job at Magic Mountain pushing a buccaneer. Pushing <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Your mom is so fat after sex she smokes turkeys. <laughs> so fat after making love to her I roll over twice and I'm still on her <laughs> your mama's so stupid she was filling out a job application that says sign here she put Sagittarius but your mama's so ugly Ted Danson wouldn't date her Your mama's so fat, well, she plays high scratch like this. L Ted Danson. Gotta figure out anything we don't know. Is American actor. He and she started playing the lead character. Uh, yeah. Oh, this dude. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So you ugly? Nah, he, nah, nah he's just an actor. I guess he was just dating some chick in one of his roles. You look up his wife. And his wife was ugly. You guys let us know that joke. Yeah. She doesn't look ugly. He was married man. twice, though. Married his uh, first wife. Let's see. Married to uh, Casey Coates to see if that would have been. I don't see Married woman, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, you guys let us know that joke then. Yeah, what right, movie was somebody explain that? <laughs> Your mama's so fat, she plays hopscotch like this. LA, Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Your mama is so stupid. She gave your uncle because he said it would help his unemployment. Oh, whoa, whoa. What can you say? Yeah, well, your mama glasses so thick when she looks at a map, oh, she can see people waving. <laughs> <laughs> Man, man. Your mama's no. Because if he's on a plum, you know how people be hurt on work? Because he said she's so fat, right? Or she was so, so stupid. I mean, you said your mama's so stupid. You remember, you gotta he said back. stupid. He said stupid for sure. Okay, then that one, man. That one. I thought you said your mama's so fat. I think fat. he must have said a word that. He said something. And no tell. Ah, yeah. And your mama's nose is so big, you can go bowling with her boogers. <laughs> And your mama's so fat, before God said, let there be light, he told her, move your big butt out of yeah. the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion maintains his throne. Congratulations. Ladies, send him home to his big, fat, stinking mama. <laughs> we don't love them hoes. <laughs> Mark black people, that's just too funny. That, that is, is funny. funny. That's the funniest type of humor. Bro. He says she's a low down stanky hoe. <laughs> <laughs> the dirty dozens. I'm I'm dirty just don't, don't get that. that. I just don't get the dirty dozens yet. It's a, it's like a saying. I gotta find it. Dirty dozens mean twelve, right? Yes. Then they're dirty. <laughs> yes. Good job. Dirty. <laughs> It's, it means when one trades insults with someone, that, uh, some insults with each other over family members, especially mothers, typically in front of a group. Oh, that's pretty, uh, pretty that's cool. crazy. I never knew that. I learned something new today every time pretty I go straight Pretty straightforward there. Or it means 12. Dead. It's funny, man. And Lover Color was a pretty good show. Man. Those are actually some good Yo Mama jokes. I'm gonna keep yeah. them in my brain. This and uh, I was so lost. fat, I'll roll over twice. Remember I was talking about the other day? <laughs> that's very convenient. Man, yes. all right, so Bob, I was in sixth grade, bro. I'm new to the school. I ain't go to the school to fit into that school. I'm new to the school. I don't know nobody, bro. Must be like the first week. Dude just came up to me out of nowhere. I remember exactly what he said. He said, your mama's so old. When she far, she far does. So now I said, your mama joked to him. Tell me why this nigga looked at me. He said, my mom is dead, bro. He started crying, bro. No, <laughs> like, That's some bro. terrible shit. Everybody's looking at me like I was messed up. I'm like, whoa! Nah, How am I supposed to know? He has to be you said your mama joke. I swear to God. I swear to God. God man, yeah. No, he wasn't, bro. And I remember even the teacher signed it with me. He's like, how you? <laughs> <laughs> Your mama jokes was getting real, though. Yeah, Who was your funniest one from back in the day? Uh, 
Your mama put the uh, yellow skirt on, she the bus. <laughs> oh, okay. I heard that. Too cow. I can't I remember. Yeah, I can't. Your mama remember. so fat she put a blanket over the ocean to call it a water bed. <laughs> I remember that one. She, I ain't never heard that one. But the yellow bus boy, boy, yeah. was just in that area. I don't remember I your mama to, jokes. I, I know niggas just getting on each other. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Yeah. I remember your mama jokes, but I can't think of one. I'm talking about the mosquito. I used to get kind of hot about them mama jokes. What? I don't get hot if you met my mama before. Like, you ain't never met my mama, I don't care. My mama be getting your own home like practice. Oh, I'm ready to scrap. Niggas start telling your granny. Niggas start saying your granny, your grandpa, your daddy, and all types of shit. Oh, man. They ain't doing so no, no, uh, your daddy jokes. That was big. Yeah, Everybody got a mama. Everybody ain't got no daddy. Daddy might not be home, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about a man I ain't never met. <laughs> like, your daddy's so stupid. I don't even know him. <laughs> we can't talk about two people we ain't never meet before. I joke, everybody used to say, my daddy went to the store and ain't never come back. You ain't hear some secrets. Every nigga used to hear that. Yeah, real. Did. Oh, man. Y'all give us some more living in color, man. We really did this to get see what little Al Bunny was talking about, but uh, we don't want to do some more Al Bunny. What's his real name again? Ed O'Neal. Ed O'Neal, man. He's great, man. Living in color is great. We out of here. Hit us on Instagram. We gone. Ed O'Neal the GOAT.